It always starts somewhere. In this case, up in the sky. But with the turning of the earth, up in the sky can become down in the sky. Either way, the subject is war. Here it is. A rather shining individual appears. He beams like Klondike gold. But he is made part by part of absolute darkness. Some say he is slick and sticky. Is he an oil spill, standing on two legs and walking like a man? Whatever he is, his clothes are contrived to imitate the contours of light. Light so warm and fresh, you feel as though you could cut off a piece of it and put it in your pocket. Lock it up. This man made of darkness must say something. He says this. <laughs> oh, watch me now. I'm that old, low-down Nicky. Some call me the kid. I used to be called Sweet Daddy Scratch. But Bubba is who I actually am. Bubba Beals, oh yes, the B-Z-B. -B. All right now, I take care of me some pure business. Uh-oh, I find myself sniffing. I smell a meal marching this way. Up, down, up and down, the fiddler's band travels the road. People love them. They carry the story of the national soul and of the soul in the world. Parks, schools, prisons, churches, small concerts, parades, they love to play but they don't really get along. Then there's the drummer. He has a nice groove, and he's happy all the time. The bass man really doesn't say much, unlike the bassoonist who talks nonstop and in everyone else's registers. The trombonist is always late and loud. He wants to blow that bassoon right off the bandstand. And the trumpet is the most arrogant know-it-all. He thinks he should be the leader of the band. Up, down. Up and down. The clarinetist reads books. Perhaps he's an intellectual. He finds the others boring. Wonderful. The integrity of her sound warms the soul. Listening to her taught them how to play together. And that was a beautiful thing. Up 
and down. Her name is Beatrice Connors. She has the power to lift the bandstand, but the burden of her own glow in conflict with her inky desires wears her down. I'm angry at this business. I hate the nature of success, but I'm envious of it. No, no. I just want more people to enjoy things like this tune by the legendary fiddler Uncle Bud. <laughs> She's floating on a dream cloud of celestial notes. Bubba Z. Bills approaches. He is almost moved by her softness and her power. But being moved is not his line of engagement. The BZB begins talking with her. <laughs> I'll slip into her soul through the window of need. She wants to be known. 
I'll tell her I recognize her. She will be surprised. I'm surprised you recognize me. See what I'm saying? You gotta watch him. You gotta watch that BZB. You've heard of me? Now that's unusual. Now I tell her that I have heard her many, many times. Well, that makes me feel good. But even if you didn't know who I was, we would still be out here playing. We are not getting in. Now I drop the payload. I tell her that I think she is, oh man, just so great. Then I tell her I wish she made recordings, that I am in the music business myself, and even I can't find her sound anywhere. I would just love the opportunity to sit alone with the recording and sink down into the invisible glory of her sound. You know how to say it, don't you? But there's no invisible glory to our music in the business world. We sound too good, but they say we sound too old. Learn to share, my dear. Learn to share. Don't be a snob. This is the way it is. I just want to play. Everybody wants to play. But the question is not who plays, but who pays. No one ever pays quite enough. They never ever pay enough. And dealing with the public can be tricky. You could share by giving the people what they want. The glow and soul of my music is the total opposite of the empty darkness the public wants. That's where you're wrong. They want light because they produce none of their own. They want to be full, not empty. The people just want to participate, not disappear when the lordly sun comes up. Like all the stars of the Milky Way, they don't want to become anonymous at every dictatorial sunrise. People want to rule something, even if that something is a hole under the ground itself. You're right. I used to play in the subway. Even with all the noise and filth, when I picked up my instrument, I felt like I ruled that world. There you go. That's the connect. You and the public. They participate as they reflect your light. The moon. Ah, the full moon is a complete circle of absolute appreciation. There you go again. I bet you don't know how good that sounds. Oh, yeah, I do. I'm the BZB. Who? We'll scratch our way back to that later. This is about you. Now, what did you just say? I'll say what I was really thinking. Well, look, I used to be ashamed of wanting to be appreciated, but now I know that's stupid. Let me tell you what's not stupid. When you step out of a limousine made of gold records, when you hear them screaming your name, when you feel you are in a house of human mirrors, then you will know the glory of fame and the power of sharing. Everything will march to your beat, my dear. Your beat. Wonderful. The integrity of her sound grows wings 
for the soul. that he has her going. The BZB has to crush all of her misgivings. Stubborn, the fiddler doesn't really accept the idea that she should have to change. All you need to do, my dear young lady, is listen to Bubba Z. Bills. Why would I listen to somebody with a name like that? What does the Z stand for? Zephyr? No. Zero, baby. Oh, no, negative. Oh, no, positive. In business, nobody argues about anything except my middle name. Any number from one to nine is defined by how many copies of my middle name are lined up behind it and in front of the period. We're talking about jamming in as many zeros as you can before the period. Pure business, baby. Interesting. But what does change have to do with becoming popular? Change is an expression of humility. The seasons do it. You need to drop that elitist sneer and lift the public with simple music from the heart. There is power in simple things. Wouldn't you like some power over your audience? In my circles, we don't care about the love of the public. Actually, we do. I hate to admit it, but I would definitely like to have that power. Who wouldn't? Admission, my dear, is very good for the soul. I know where there is power to be plucked, like a violin string. Give me that old violin, and I will give you the power to be born again. Millions will love you. Come on now, the violin. Good. Hey, I feel the sun coming up so suddenly. That is your choice. Up there. The sun? What am I supposed to do? Not much. Just reach up. Stick your thumb in and twist it out like a light bulb. Make the world black. And then we will make the moon rise. Uh oh, there it is. I knew you could do it. Hey. Wow. I snatched the sun down in one pool. Yes. Oh, this feels good. And strange. You have blinded the cyclops of the sky. Hear that sweet screaming? The stars are free. Right now, right now, I'm holding the light and the closed flood between my hands. Whew, I just lost my breath. Now I feel pain in my chest, like, I feel like I'm praying. But you're not praying. You are gloating and glowing. And up and up, you will easily float. I 
knew you had it all the way down there in your heart. It's time to start marching on them. We got some zeros to jail. We got some zeros to jam. We are gonna jam us some zeros, baby. Beatrice Connors is now a success, five years running, but she is not satisfied. She is not Beatrice Connors either. The BZB changed her name to The Beacon. Then, to emphasize her instrument, he called her The Beacon with the Bow. In the promotion, he wanted things to read more snappy. So the advertisement said, BZB presents BWB, Badness with Beauty, The Beacon with a Bow. I thought that gave an appropriate level of fraudulent sophistication and pulled them in. I'm not a snob, you know what I'm saying? So we accepted the whole mob. From country to country, everyone loved the beacon with the bow. They loved the beautiful with the bad. Enthusiasm, hysteria, worship, actually. You would have thought that she was the savior. She even, that's enough! Let me break it down. Uh, but I was going to, did I stutter? What did I say? Let me break it down. This is not your story. Let me break it down. <clears throat> the devil always hated narration. So he humiliates me like this, like this. I'm going to get him. Good. My time will come. I told her corruption is a job like everything else. But she started crying and carrying too much nasty mouth for me. No, I can't finger the fiddle. When I pulled down the sun, the corrupted blood and light stuck my fingers together. I have scraped my heart out and mutilated myself. You didn't say that when all them stadiums started filling up and all you had to do was play a few notes here and there. You sat on your famous rusty dusty in the candy store until you got a big fat stomach ache. And now you want the argument is always the same. She longs for the days when she was respected and admired as a musician not just a sex symbol who toys with an instrument on stage. She is now so sick of herself and of the mansion of gold records. Her soul aches for something she once knew, the heaven of being with her old band.
her soul wobbles. She has been played, had, and used from root to snoot. own fame. So much gratitude, so much glory, so much goodness. People in gratitude, P-I-G. People in glory, P-I-G. People in goodness, P-I-G. Hmm, think about that. What does all the wealth or fame add up to? This, our international notion of knowledge. One more time, our international notion of knowledge, O-I-N-K. Weigh that in your mind. But how, dear audience, do you weigh darkness? Do you have a scale? Do you? I thought not. Bubba, you bubble-headed liar, you used me. Here we go. Use or get used. That's the story of the blues. You don't know, right? for somebody who pimped herself. Oh no, I got duped. I was kidnapped from my audience, from my students, from all the talented young kids who looked up to me. I'm just a prisoner of your lives. Everybody knows I'm just doing your program. Right. Less than less is always worth more. Learning to whore might be a chore, but if you do it, you will never be poor. You were exquisite. I have enough bitterness in me to turn my blood to poison. Calm down! Take pride in yourself. I did. I'll never be proud of that. You sure? You were as good as they get. Remember your relaxed willingness to corrupt the young when they were in the first bloom of romance? You gave them a little bit of music and a whole heap of... Mm, 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 mm. They were young, suckling pigs at the breast of spiritual pollution. So that's the mechanical pace. Don't whimper about the race. I find you disgusting as a steaming pile of waste. And I find myself even more disgusting for ever letting you use me until I stopped enjoying being used. Everybody's got to find something. I find myself smelling a very huge meal. The little piggies will line right up, gleefully slaughter themselves and dive, swine that they are, right into the oiled and shining moon of the stainless steel skillet. The crackling fire will turn into gold records, floating like circular sparks right up the black wall of the charts. All will be brought by BZB to the universal trough, where you will feed them slop. What can I say? Another pucker of joy and the dark cloud of my absolute happiness. <laughs> oh, BZB, how dare you be so good at what you do? <laughs> Oh, 
Keeping $100, the fiddler anonymously donates everything she owns to charity. Stripped of all celebrity, she runs away to the South, where there is talk of a savior. There is no savior on her mind. She is trying to save herself. Somewhere down there, her old band is playing, and she intends to rejoin them. When she finds them in a little roadhouse, they pretend not to know her. What could I play anyway? I haven't put my heart on my instrument in years. My soul has become ash. I never thought I could feel this empty and dark. I feel like dying. After the band leaves, an old musician catches her praying and crying at a bus stop at sunrise. His name is Uncle Bud. The Uncle Bud? The great fiddler? I expect so. Why are you crying, darling? She tells him everything. Sometimes each word is interrupted by a guttural sob. The legendary fiddler, whose tune she used to play, offers his help. Oh, you can still play. That never leaves. All you have to do is one thing. You have to remember. Then be what you remember. I can't go back because I'm tortured by my shame. You've done so little for so long, you think hating yourself is a mark of moral distinction. I speak of the great memory that is so perfect. It is always dreaming of you. So that's what gives you a chill when you play something beautiful. Oh, God. I just have to remember myself before I was a whore. The savior, who is very ill, says that the great memory has to recall the world as it was before Bubba Z. Bills got so strong. I didn't think the savior was real, but I know we all need salvation. As you talk, the glow is coming back. The dark smoke is rising off your soul. You buried the light of your heart on the dark side of the moon when you pulled down the sun and lived with the devil for five years. The fiddler cries out in rage and pain. Now she knows she was with the devil. Uncle Bud tells her the fight with the devil will never stop. Uncle Bud, I can move my fingers. Uncle Bud asks her to close her eyes and get on her knees. He gives her a sip from an ancient bottle. It has the most beautiful taste she has ever known. This is the liquid of your soul, returned as a timeless river. Open your eyes. Her band is gathered there. Uncle Bud takes her hand and she stands. He gives her an old, old violin as the band begins kissing her loudly and melodramatically because there is too much feeling to avoid the sentimental. You must go now to see the Savior. Play for him. You and your musicians might be the ones that can save him. Hurry, make a joyful noise unto God. Thank you. 
pollution of the times have sickened the Savior. He is too pure for the job. He cannot be cured by medicine. Only the celestial sound of sacred notes can cool his fever. Humbly, carrying Uncle Bud's violin, the fiddler gets in line to see the Savior. Who stands there in front of her but the BZB? Why are you here? To see the Savior. I am a spiritual man. You smear filth on the meaning of every word you speak. And you know you can't play that violin. But I can play the one sweet song you taught me so long ago. It will make me known as a wheeler and a dealer who was also a first class healer. As I raise him from the mouth of death, my power will pull the soul of the world all the way down to the bottom of my coal mine. Now the narrator gets some payback. I didn't forget when BZB humiliated me. The fiddler and I hatch a plot. Mm -hmm. You see, Bubba once ran off screaming for three days and disappeared because he forgot to specially prepare his drinking water. All the fiddler has to do is act drunk. You drank it? I got something good. You are nothing and own nothing. You have my bottle. No, give it back. Give it back. It's my. Down the booby hatch in one chug-a-lug, my demented dub. <laughs> Unpolluted water? Unpolluted water? Oh, you poisoned me. You poisoned me. I'll be back. <laughs> I'll be back. <laughs> he runs faster than he vomits. Well, here's your violin. I guess he doesn't need it where he's going. Ladies and gentlemen of the audience, I think this moment of triumph calls for a little bit of a concert, a return performance of the Fiddler's Band. Let the band play.
Musicians, you must play for the Savior. Take your time. The crowd will part for you. Fiddler, you have that glow again. Everyone will know that you must see him. You are sleepy. You seem to barely, barely breathe. I'm... No. We're going to give you a private party. We are the band, a party. We're going to play three dances. We hope they will make your spirit tap its toe. Thank 
the music causes the Savior to levitate, and the sweat from his fever dries away. The fiddler sees that he has been renewed. He has the same look of impenetrable concentration possessed by BZB, but there is no bestial quality to his gaze. The savior is about to embrace the fiddler as Bubba Z. Beals returns, his clothes stained with vomit and his face a kaleidoscope of rage. Give me that violin, you thief! I own you and everything you touch. Now I own the soul of the savior. This is a spiritual party. You'll have to dance your way out of this. I don't dance. I gloat. For one who steps on souls, gloating is like boating. Brace yourself, Bubba. You're gonna have to break down and dance. <laughs> Was too strong this time. The notorious BZB wobbles, tap dances, hot foots, twists, turns, and streaks out of there, his tail rising and falling like a machete in a killing field. Then the savior embraces the fiddler, the beacon of the spirit, and the beacon of the sound, making one perfect pattern of light. They become the rosy fingers of dawn.
people slick, yet my sins always stick. Uh-oh, uh-oh, hee-hee-hee, <laughs> you should not mess with the BZB. In church, don't pray all day down on your knees. In no time, your soul will be the BZBs. Your savior, who missed death first, will slip your bitter dreams in hell's hot earth. Foolish girl, just one step out of line. I swear your sweet, sweet cakes will be all mine. You should not mess, you should not mess with the BZB. You should not mess, you should not mess, you should not mess with the BZB. was lost because the world was so, so sick. Through the perpetual flame of fate, the Savior is saved. My child, you have learned the source of your soulfulness, which is the willingness to give. You have been illuminated by humility. memory. There is no old. There is no new. There is only the eternity of the moment. Greater than the I am of pure intent. We can sell nothing to time. We can buy nothing from time. We can only listen to the celestial whispers that never forget, that never forget, that always remember. Beatrice Connors is Beatrice Connors, with the Savior going from sickness to sickness, lifting spirit after spirit, the work of pure intent wears her down. At a mass saving, 
with soul after soul lighting like endless candles in the night, the fiddler realizes that she is back to where she started, small and loved, but outside of the big action. Trapped again, she screams. She runs away to the south, looking for Uncle Bud. She breaks her fiddle and is about to lose her mind. She sobs and sobs at the bank of a river. Then Uncle Bud appears. Uncle Bud sheds tears too. He is disappointed. He weeps more loudly than she does. He cannot say anything, but he will try something one last attempt to get her on the straight and narrow. He pulls a bottle from an ancient case. Drink this. It is a potion that may return you to the true faith. Oh. Oh. This is the worst thing I've ever swallowed. Oh, I feel so sick. Uncle Bud, oh my God. Uncle Bud? <laughs> Uncle Fud, this is me. This is the BZB. <laughs> I just used you to keep the game from going dumb. It's your time so I can put my foot on your skull. Little girl, you are drawing your last breath. Free breath. This is the taste of BZB manufactured death. No, please, Uncle Bud. Uncle Bud. <laughs> yes! I'm coming up smokestack tall up out of my hole. And you, audience member, had better keep a good, good, good lock on your soul. Watch me now. You see what I did to that indignant sound? <laughs> you gotta watch that Bubba Z Bill. The grand master of all celestial deals. <laughs> Old, low down, dirty Nicky. Sweet daddy scratch. They call me all kinds of names in the cotton patch. But as for me, I'm going for the B Z B. Come on to life, girl. You must die again. Every time, much slower. And every time you suckle this bottle, your pain, your pain must sink you lower and lower. Fiddlers of the world! <laughs> As for using the human soul like a jagged plow, it all gets down to one on go and get down. This forever is my 